we'll just recap on what we've learned briefly about decibels because we're going to need that in this topic or the next topic on transmission media and, and in subsequent topics we'll see DB come up a lot. Uh, so it's important to understand what decibels or a decibel is. And last week towards the end we got to the point that, well, to calculate dB is 10 times log base 10 of two power levels. dB is used to measure a ratio or a factor. That is, if we have two power levels, then the ratio between them, one divided by the other, gives us some, some uh, multiplying factor we can convert that to decibels. So the general equation here that we've used in a few examples, the examples we used, we used one with an audio amplifier. We said that there's some input power to the amplifier, there's some output power, and we can talk about that amplifier having a gain, which is the output divided by the input, saying the gain means that if we have some value coming in, the gain means we multiply that value to determine what will come out. So this amplifier we calculated had a gain of a factor of 100. The output is 100 times larger than the input. dB is just another way to express that, that factor. 100 is the same as 20 decibels. So it's a little bit confusing for some people because they see dB and think that's a unit, but it's not a unit. This is just a factor or a ratio. Okay? It's not a unit like seconds, watts, bytes. It's just a different way to express a factor or a, a, a ratio, in this case 100. We also introduce the concept of loss. We have a communication system. We transmit some signal with some power level. In our example, 8 watts. At the receiver, we receive at 1 watt. In absolute factors, the loss is a factor of 8. The received signal is 8 times smaller than the transmitted signal. We can convert that to dB. 10 times log base 10 of the factor of 8 gives us 9 dB. So we can say the loss is 9 decibels. But also we talk about the gain as the inverse of the loss. If we lose by a factor of 8, that means we gain by a factor of 0 0.125, the inverse. The received power is 8 times less than the transmit power, or the other way, the received power is 0.125 times the transmit power. And again, if we convert to dB, it becomes a nice negative 9 dB. So gain and loss in the absolute values are the inverses. In dB, are the, the, inver the, the negative of the other value. And we got to the last example of doing a calculation It turns out that we can, when we have a system made up of components with different gains and losses, to talk about the overall gain of the system, we can just add up the components. So the example we went through said there are three components. One had a gain of 5 dB, a loss of 10 dB, and a gain of 2 dB. So overall, we can say that there's a gain of the system of minus 3 dB, just the sum of those values. Or, in the other way, a system loss of 3 dB. A gain of minus 3 is the same as a loss of plus 3. And we did a calculation as to what the transmit power would need to be. Any questions on dB before we move on? Easy. 10 log base 10 of some factor. Let's give one or a couple more examples on dB.
often in communication systems we'll talk about we transmit a signal with some power level. So I say PTX, the transmit power level. And it's often measured in watts or milliwatts. Uh, let's say 16 as an example. Let's make up some transmit power of 16 watts. We can often, or we also see in communication systems that power levels are also expressed relative to decibels. And this is a bit confusing. So far dB is indicating a ratio or a factor. Sometimes uh, some factor larger than something else or smaller than something else. It's relative between two different values. But we can express a power level also relative to dB. Let's show you how. Remember our general equation for dB, 10 log base 10 of two power levels. Generally P1 divided by P2, depending on what we're talking about. Signal to noise ratio, P1 would be the signal, P2 the noise. If we're talking about gain of a system, then P1 would be the output power and P2 the input and the loss the inverse. So it depends upon the system we're talking about. But in general, the ratio between two power levels. Let's take as a reference point and let's set P2 to some, some value, a reference value. Let's set P2 to be 1 watt. 1 is a nice reference point. And we'll use that to express our transmit power relative to this fixed reference point. So, if P2 is 1 watt, and now we ask our transmit power of 16 watts, can we express that relative to the res reference point of 1 watt? Well, 10 log base 10 of our power level, 16 watts, divided by the reference power level of 1 watt. And someone will calculate that for me. What's the answer? Log base 10 of 16, so the watts will cancel out, we're left with 16, someone use it. 1.2. So times by 10 is 12, is that right? So log of 16 is 1.2, times by 10 is about 12 dB. Sorry, not DBW, DW, DB. That is 16 relative to the reference point is 12 dB. Now, how do we use that? We can say 16 watts is the same as 12 dB relative to 1 watt. And we write that as DBW. This is a different thing. Now we're using decibels in measuring a single power level, not a ratio between two, where that single one is relative to a reference point. So the, the notation dBW means decibels relative to one watt. The W means one watt, which means the lower, the, the denominator in the, the factor is one watt. We'll often see power levels expressed in dB watts. And a few and others we'll see in a moment. That is, if my transmit power is 16 watts, it also means my transmit power is 12 dBW, decibels relative to 1 watt. And how 
So remember, dB on its own is a ratio between two values. dBW means it's a ratio between two values where the second value, the bottom one, is 1 watt. So the W means that P2 is 1. So dB says it's a ratio, a logarithmic ratio, and the W, this, this is the new part, says that the bottom part is fixed at 1 watt. Make sure people understand that. What about... Uh, What does 30 dBW equal? Try and calculate. What is 30 dBW? Now, when we talk about dBW, we're talking about a power level, not a ratio anymore. So what's, what's the power level in this case? So you need to go backwards with your decibels equation. One thousand, one thousand, no, one thousand something. What? One thousand watts. Okay. Let's calculate. Remember our general equation: ten log. Ten log base ten of P one divided by P two. When we write dBW, we know that P two is 1 watt. So we know that the equation would be 10 log base 10 of some power level, P, the one we're looking for, divided by 1 watt. That's what the W here means, that the denominator in the ratio is 1 watt. So now we just need to solve for P. So divided by 10 we get 3 equals log base 10 of P divided by 1 watt. So that means that P divided by 1 watt equals 1,000 because log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. That is P, the power level, equals 1,000 watts. Now we're using dB for something different. A power level of 1,000 watts is identical to 30 dBW. Any questions? Why did I use 1 watt? Because that's the common reference point that's used in many systems. Uh, yes, it's fixed. When we write dBW, it means 1 watt as a denominator. We don't have to use it. There's a few other values which are common. We'll see one other. The other common value is instead of having 1 watt here, is to have 1 milliwatt. That is the reference point the reference value that is P2 in our general equation is 1 milliwatt. So, what do we have before? We had our transmit power of 16 watts. Find out what that value is relative to 1 milliwatt. What is 16 watts relative to 1 milliwatt? And then convert it to dB. They're the two common refer reference points we'll see in, in, at least in our studies. Relative to 1 watt or relative to 1 milliwatt. Well, you just use the, the dB equation and 10 
log base 10 of our power of 16 watts relative to 1 milliwatt. which equals 10 log base 10 of what? 16 watts divided by 1 milliwatt is 16,000. Be careful of the units there. Sixteen watts is sixteen thousand times larger than our reference point. And then take the logarithm times by ten, what do you get? Forty two. Forty two DB relative to one milliwatt. Here we have a new notation. Sixteen watts relative to one milliwatt, it's sixteen thousand times larger. Or in dB, it's forty two dB relative to one milliwatt. So we write it as forty two dB MW but we're often lazy and we remove the W and just write dBm. So, in summary, what we've seen in the first example is that 16 watts is the same as 12 dBw, which is the same as 42 dB milliwatts, which we commonly just write as dBm. But that can be confusing. It's not meters, it's short for milliwatts. All the same value, but just expressed in different ways. Think of it as like a prefix. Everything's measuring a power level, but in different scales. In the last two we're using logarithmic scales. It's dBmW, but we often don't write the W. We just write dBm. It doesn't mean dB meters, it means dB milliwatts. Decibels relative to one milliwatt. 12 dBw is 12 decibels relative to one watt. You can write, you can write MW, but in other literature, in my questions, you'll often just see dBm. So recognize that dBm, the M means milliwatt. There are other reference points that are used, but these are the two that we'll see and the most common, I think, that you'll come across. So we'll not cover others. Micro is sometimes used decibels relative to one microwatt. Make sure everyone's clear. Our, we've had two examples. We said 1,000 watts was 30 dBw. One thousand watts is how many dBm? One thousand watts relative to one milliwatt. What's the the ratio? And then convert it to dB. Answer? Calculator? Someone? You don't need a calculator for this one. The beauty of decibels start to come into play at this point.
So 1,000 watts relative to 1 milliwatt. 1,000 watts divided by 1 milliwatt is how much? 1 million. So we take log base 10 of 1 million gives us 6. 6 zeros in 1 million times by 10 gives us 60 dBm. One thousand watts is the same as thirty dBW, which is the same as sixty dBm. You may notice the difference between dBW and dBm is thirty, because one is relative to one watt, the other is relative to one milliwatt, which is a factor of one thousand, which is equivalent to thirty dB. You don't need to remember that, but you'll maybe if you use these uh, decibels a lot, you'll start to see some of those common uh, relationships. For now, just know that when you see dBW, it really means a power level. And you should be able to convert it back by just remembering the general decibels equation. 10 log base 10 of one power divided by another. If it's dBW, that other, the denominator, is 1 watt. If it was dBm, the denominator is 1 milliwatt. Then you solve for the power level. So we'll see decibels used for two purposes. In this case, to measure a power level. And what we covered last week was to measure a ratio between two power levels. So dB watts, dBm. Let's finish with one last example. We have a transmit power into some system which has a gain, G, a gain. Then a, a component has a loss. I think we did this example before. And a gain. And then we receive. What do we have as values before? This is this uh, very close to the same example we had last week, I think. You may have it in the picture. I try to remember the numbers. If the gain of the first component is 5 decibels, the loss of the second component is 10 dB, and the gain of the third component is 2 dB, and let's say we do something different, we transmit with a power of uh, 20 dBm. The transmit power is 20 dBm. We could convert that back to watts or milliwatts. 20 dBm, so divided by 10 we get 2, so I think you'll find it's 100 milliwatts. You can check. The nice thing about everything expressed relative to in the logarithmic scale in decibels is that to find, well, what is the receive power in this case? Well, we have a transmit power, we have some gain. Normally with a gain we amplify, we multiply, and a loss we divide. But when we're using dB, the gain is we plus, we add, and the loss is we subtract. So what is the receive power? The receive power is, we start with the transmit power of 20 dBm, we add 5 dB, the first component, we subtract 10 dB, the loss, and then add on 2 dB, and we get left over, what? 17 
db m we start with a power level we amplify it we increase it here with a the gain then it's reduced according to this loss then increased again and what do we receive when we're doing everything in db then we can just add up the values where loss is negative and the result is we receive at a level of 17 dBm. If we wanted to, we could convert that back to milliwatts or watts. Which is the same as... Uh, anyone have a calculator? 10 to the power of 1.7 milliwatts. Someone will solve that for me. 50. About 50 milliwatts. 10 to the power of 1.7. Why? 17 equals 10 log 10 of some number. Divide by 10, we get 1.7. The opposite of log is raised to the power. So 10 to the power of 1.7 is about 50 milliwatts. What was the transmit power? The transmit power, if we convert, 20 dBm is 10 to the power of 2 milliwatts, 100 milliwatts. If we have 100 milliwatts relative to 1 watt milliwatt is a factor of 100, and in, log, in decibels, a factor of 100 is equal to 20 dB. So 20 dBm is the same as 100 milliwatts. We transmit at a power of 100 milliwatts. We have some gain, some loss, some gain, and we receive at a power of 50 milliwatts. This one tries to demonstrate the fact that when everything's in dB, calculating the answer is usually much faster than doing multiplications and division when everything's using the absolute factor. We, we will not do it. I'll leave it as a homework task for you to do. Convert the gains and losses into their absolute values. So convert this to an absolute value and think, okay, we start with 100 milliwatts. The gain in the absolute value is a multiplier. So we increase, the loss is a divider, we reduce, and then the second gain we increase again and you should end up with 50 milliwatts at the end. Now that's an exercise for you to, to solve. Questions before we move on? At least for now, no decibels used to measure a ratio or a factor commonly used to talk about the gain of a system, the loss of a system, signal to noise ratio. But we also have dBW, where do we go? Up the top, dBW and dBm, meaning relative to one watt or one milliwatt to measure absolute power levels. Questions before we start the next topic? Transmission media. Michelle, we have another, an impromptu quiz. Okay. We'll have a quiz soon. Sometimes we may have a quiz during lectures instead of online, just to make sure people are following.
Let's move on to transmission media.